So on the last Airbender Reddit page, we have a post from Bonanza Rama. Uh, this dude apparently got a chance to work on the visual effects test for the new live action Avatar. He got a chance to do some previs, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I'm not too optimistic about the show anymore because my opinion have cha- has changed over time after mulling some things over. Um. But it's still pretty cool, you know? I'm not going to lie. It's pretty interesting. So, uh, this dude uh, worked on this pre stuff in a green screen studio in Los Angeles. They did some Fire Lord Ozai throne room stuff, Katara and Sokka in the Tundra. Um, this is pretty interesting. Now, obviously, this isn't, you know, official. Obviously, it's not official. It's previs. They could basically get dummies to fucking play the actors or play the characters. Um, but it's still interesting to note that James Liu, who is right here, he's a martial arts actor who's been in some movies, um, was playing as Ozai. Pretty cool stuff. I think there's a picture. Yeah, here's him with Jackie Chan. Really cool. Not going to lie. Um, so that's, that's neat. They got Kevin Gardner, who I don't know, probably a new guy, because he doesn't pop up. (laughs) It's just a bunch of random people. Anyway, um, and this girl, Kate Buati, is playing Katara, who is this girl. No idea who she is. And she's white! (laughs) She's white. Not that I give a fuck. Obviously, this is previs. They're just getting people to do the costumes, and ju- it's just a test, you know. No need to be racist towards white people. Anyway, um, so basically, this test they have some images, which is pretty cool. Uh, Im- open image in new tab. Let's see. This is the green screen uh, Ozai throne room. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looks pretty official. Got a lot of green screen. Not a big issue. If the visual effects are good enough, you can paint it out, make it look good. But uh, looks looks crazy. They got a camera set up. Shit's actually going on. You know, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And we have this right here, which is the throne room again. Don't know why Zoe 101 is popping up. But anyway, uh, yeah. I mean, that this this is not going to be the actual show. You know, it's just pre They're just testing some things out. I have no idea why. And I know, I just said that it's pre but I still don't know why the Fire Lord is wearing green. Uh, this next picture, which I think is this one. Doesn't that look like the Earth King to you? <laughs> like, it just does to me. But nonetheless, the chair looks nicely sculpted, and that looks pretty high high fucking quality. I mean, that's a pretty good shit right there in terms of costume design. It looks pretty good, and that's James Liu, by the way. Uh, Cool stuff. You know, there's some red, and I I see it. There's some yellow, gold, maybe. Maybe some green screen is giving it a green look. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But that fur on that hat just looks kind of green to me. Um, Anyway. Cool stuff. Let's see what what else we got here. Ah, very cool. Um, Katara and Sokka. Now, what's I like it. I mean, it looks. If this is previs, if this is like some sort of prototype of the costumes that we're actually going to see in the show, pretty good. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Pretty decent. That's exactly how I would assume that they would look. Uh, I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there going, Well, why isn't it blue? Well, you know, maybe that might not look that great. Maybe they're trying to go authentic. You know, the last year in the movie, which I still pause it, Brian and Mike had a lot more to do with than you might think. Um, they want to make this authentic. So, you know, it's fine. And the next picture right here, we have some blue. And that looks pretty good. You know, that's Kate Buati, I think her name is. It's that white girl that they have standing in for Katara. I'm sure she'll change. Um, looks pretty good. Not going to lie. 
that blue looks pretty nice. Cool looking spear. Cool looking wool. Whatever that is. You know. Big ass Inuit coat. Looks nice. Pretty high quality stuff. And the background is obviously green screened in. And it's just tests. They're just tests. Uh, and these guys. Which according to this article. Are marauders? Yeah here, right here. A group of marauders spot them. Now this is interesting right here. Because this section. Says that. Uh, you know. There's marauders that spot. Sokka and Katara. When they're hunter f- hunting for fish. And Katara yelled. And threw up a wall of ice or something. The bended will be added in post. Obviously it's going to be added in post. There's a comment down here that fucking doesn't understand that. But we'll get to that in a second. Um. <laughs> And Sokka exclaimed, Katara, you're a waterbender? Now, I, this worries me a little bit. I know that it's pre and I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be in the final script. However, uh, it's a little weird. Like, I don't like how they changed that, you know? I kind of prefer if you're going to do an adaptation of a fucking show like this, you try to stay pretty faithful and not try to change anything because if it worked in the first one, it's probably going to work in the remake. So, yeah. In terms of script writing and shit like that, of course. Obviously, some visuals need to be tweaked. And hopefully they get rid of Boomy. Um, But anyway, pretty cool. Now, again, uh, this this thing right here says that, you know, the bending will be added in post. Obviously, it will be added in post, but this fucking idiot down here doesn't get that. The bending will be added in post. Oh, for real? What do you mean, for real? It's, it's fucking visual effects. It's going to be CGI. Of course, it's going to be added in post. What, do you think that they're going to be fucking throwing buckets of water around and call that water bending? Come on, dude. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the posts. It's all the pictures and stuff. Uh, looks interesting. Looks pretty cool. I like this. I mean, if they dial this up somehow and it's finished stage, maybe that could look really nice. I really like this costume. I think it needs to, needs to be tweaked a little bit. But you can see, like, there's some design things on the blue. You can't really make it out, but... It's interesting, you know, I'm not too optimistic about this show because of reasons. You see, my opinion of The Legend of Korra and Brian and Mike as a writing duo has shifted over time. You you may have noticed that over a while, this channel has gone from liking Korra to not liking Korra to thinking it's okay and now to just straight out not liking it. Yeah. I'm a little indecisive, but finally, months ago, I realized that I don't, I'm not really optimistic about Brian and Mike and their writing abilities, so I'm a little, a little nervous, but it's interesting to note all this stuff. I thought it would be interesting to post. Cool stuff. I'm going to put the link in the description, you know, check it out yourself. Maybe the comments will be updated. Actually, let's check. Okay, so let's go to top. Yeah, see, even some people are saying, like, oh, that doesn't sound promising. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. What matters is the fucking script, and we'll see how much of a dumpster fire that'll be. But that's irrelevant at this point. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's my Avatar The Last Airbender live-action update video. Should be interesting. We shall see. Thanks for watching. See ya.